know what it is. It's not the one you ask. So what's up guys welcome back to another episode of Gioni Drive and today we have a different type of a video uh, we are not talking about cars although cars are my first love I am talking about watches this channel will continue to focus on cars but every now and then if I find a watch that is interesting that is related to automotive industry then I'll feature it on the channel it seems failing because most people who own cars or who collect cars they also own some nice timepieces I just got into watches uh, this is my first one this is an entry level and the reason I'm featuring this particular watch is because it was worn by James May and if you don't know James May he is Captain Slow from Top Gear and also the Grand Tour uh, and he wore this watch on one of the episodes on Grand Tour. On that episode, James May was driving a British made car, and it so happened that we have one here. So, this is a Rora 7, actually, it's a replica of a Rora 7, but they still make these cars, but they have a different name. I think they are Ketram. But James May was doing fun things with that car on that episode we are wearing this watch I cannot drive this car on the street it's not street legal it's a race car and right now it's at 10 o'clock at night this car has a motorcycle engine so it's really loud and I do not want to wake up the neighbors so we'll go back into the house and we'll talk about the watch so the watch we have here is uh, Hamilton Pan Europe and the Pan Europe name goes back to 1960s I believe in the 70s they made a chronograph and they also brought it back in 2014 I believe but uh, this one the newest one is not a chronograph it's just a simple a day date uh, complication I wanted a simple watch where I can tell the time the day and the date I wanted an everyday watch so I picked up this one I actually picked up two I think I picked up a khaki field but I gave that one to my brother for his birthday so I got this one for myself because I like the blue dial so this watch it has the H30 movement and it's based on the ETA movement but uh, slightly modified and the good thing about this the power reserve is 80 hours this is a watch you can take it off on Friday and pick it up on Monday and it will still be running uh, if it's a watch you wear every day it's an automatic movement so it'll self wind itself but I have found that if I leave it for more than a day it dies you do need to wind it when you take it off if you're not gonna wear it for another day or two uh, the case is 42 millimeter so it's a larger case it's based on the original one from the 1970s so it's on the larger side but uh, it wears very comfortable for a large wrist. You do have the bezel. One thing I have to say about the bezel is not the easiest to use. I find it difficult to actually turn this bezel. Uh, you don't have a nice grip to it. It's a very difficult bezel to actually turn. It only turns one way. It's not bi-directional, it's uh, unidirectional. And it goes counterclockwise. And it also makes some noise when you turn it. I don't even use this bezel for anything. I just use this as a simple day date watch just to tell me time and the date. So this has a blue dial, but they do have another one with a silver dial. But I prefer the blue one because of the blue bezel and the blue dial, they kind of match. And then on the outer wheel where you tell the hours, uh, it's white. And you can tell for the first 15 seconds here, it's actually red and the rest of it is black and it's kind of unique a small hint that ties it back to the chronograph from the 70s which were used in the motorsport so a little bit of red on there is very small but it adds to the color and the appeal of the watch it's a very nice looking watch i have gotten few comments on this and people seems to actually like it so this watch retails for around 1100 dollars but please do not pay $1,100 for this watch. You can get this brand new for less than $1,000. I actually paid with taxes included, I paid $850 for this watch. I went to a website called Joma Shop and I paid $700 something for this plus taxes. It came out to about $850.
So do not pay retail for this. Uh, even if you go to retail, they might give you a discount on it. And I believe at $1,100 is kind of too expensive for what it offers. Considering they have the same movement on other watches that cost $500 that are also Hamilton. So the only thing you're getting with this is a nice band. I do like this leather band. It's kind of soft. Some people say it's flimsy, but I actually like it. It feels very comfortable to wear. I like it that it's red on the inside. And it also has these holes. It allows the wrist to breathe so you're not sweating under the band. I also like the closing mechanism here. It has two pushers over here to release it. And it feels very steady on the arm. So this is a little bit heavier watch and this band feels very comfortable and steady. But you also get the NATO strap. This wakes up this watch. Uh, it adds another flair to it. But I love the leather so much I haven't actually changed it. Eventually I'll change it just to have a different feel of the watch. So this is my first serious watch. I read about Hamilton. Uh, it used to be an American brand, but now it's a Swiss brand. It's owned by some company in Europe. And they have a history. They have a history here. They used to make watch for the military and they're still very popular. Even the people who collect, uh, they actually respect Hamilton. And that's why I picked it at uh, less than a thousand dollars. They make some very good timepieces. So the watch is water resistant up to 164 feet. Some people would like more, but I'll never go swimming that deep. I'm never gonna dive more than 10 feet. It works perfect for me. I can wash my hand and I will not be concerned that water will get in here. So the watch comes with this very big box. You just have your regular stuff here like uh, you know manuals and all that kind of stuff you also get a tool so you can switch the leather band and put the nail on there so that's very nice they include that for eleven hundred dollars if you get it for around eight hundred dollars it's good value so that's it for this time uh, thank you guys for watching i hope to do more of the watches that are included in the car world as you have seen, James May used to wear this and it's a very good looking watch and I highly recommend it if you get it at a thousand dollars. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.